Hi, you're watching Yoga with AJ and today it's our last class. This is going to give you a great opportunity to revisit and practice a lot of the poses that we have done in all the episodes, all the classes before. Working on your strength and your flexibility, so let's get started. So we start out in Vajrasan, Thunderbolt pose. Interlock your fingers, take a nice long inhalation, look up towards the ceiling. Hold there for three long breaths, relax the shoulders down in their sockets. Sides of the body moving up. Gently let go of the fingers. Draw the thumbs in. Make a nice fist with both hands. Place the fist right opposite, right close to the hip bone. You're going to massage your inner organs as you fold forward. Take a nice long inhalation. Exhale and fold forward. Staying there for five long breaths. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. And gently come back up. Release the hands, turn onto your sides. You're going to be a cat. Make a nice box or a tabletop with your body. The hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width apart. Inhale and stretch up. Lift the heart, exhale. Draw the stomach into the spine. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale and draw the shoulder blades away from each other. Doing this three more times, inhaling to stretch up, exhaling, drawing the chin in towards the chest. Inhale and stretch up, open the chest, lift the heart, exhale. Last time, inhale and stretch up, exhale, arch like a Halloween cat and come to a nice neutral spine, step the right leg and then the left leg back. Stretch up to a nice down dog pose. So you can choose to be here with bent knees or you can straighten up the legs if your lower back and your hamstrings allow you or you can pedal the legs maybe 10 times. Holding the pose if you feel like holding it or stretching the legs out if you feel like stretching them. Four. Five if you're pedaling the legs. Six on the right, six on the left, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stretch out both legs and rock forward to plank. Holding here for ten counts. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently bring the knees down, curl the toes under, leave the hips up where they are. Stretch forward like a puppy, bring your forehead down onto the mat. Staying here for three deep breaths, allowing your shoulder blades, your chest, the sides of your body, your neck, all of this to stretch, lengthen and relax into the pose. And gently come back up. Once more coming down with the heels, raising the hips up. Coming into down dog, your hands are shoulder width apart. Make sure your shoulders are nice and open. Your feet are hip width apart. You shouldn't be able to see the insides of your heels. Holding there for three long breaths. And transfer your weight onto your hands. Bend the knees slightly. Start to walk forward. Slowly uncurl yourself. Coming up one vertebra at a time till the head comes up last. Come to the head of your mat. Draw the legs together. Pull up the kneecap muscles. Take a nice long inhalation. Draw the heels up. Fix your gaze on a spot. Make your ankles nice and firm. Shoulders resting in the sockets.
use your stomach, don't let your back arch, engaging the thighs, especially those muscles above the knees, pulling them up, nice stable ankles, moving through the middle toes of your feet, relaxed chest, staying there for three more breaths. And gently release, drawing the heels down slowly, don't drop out of it, shake the legs if you need to. Bring the legs back together, inhale deeply, sweep the floor with your fingertips and come up to Utkatasan, chair pose. Staying there for three deep breaths more. And gently straighten up, relax the arms. Once more, stretching up into mountain pose, Tadasan. Three deep breaths. Gently release, sweep the floor, come to chair pose, Utkatasana. Gently release, bring the arms down, getting ready for sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. Take a nice long inhalation, roll your shoulders back. As you exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Inhale and stretch up, gently arch back, exhale, reach forward and down, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, stretch the right leg back and look up. Retain the breath. Slide the left leg back to push-up position. Exhale, knees, chest and chin on the floor. Inhale, slide forward and up. Elbows bent. Exhale, press up to inverted V. Take a nice long inhalation. Step the right foot back in front. Left leg stretched out on the floor and look up. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Fold the head into the knees. Inhale and stretch up, gently arch and back. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. Inhale, exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale and stretch up, gently arching back. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, slide the left leg back and look up. Retain the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale and slide forward and up. Exhale. Inverted V. Inhale, bring the left foot front. Look up. Exhale, right foot. Fold the head into the knees. Inhale and gently arch back as you come up. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. We'll do one more sun salutation. One round on the right and then on the left. When we come from push-up position, getting the knees, the chest and the chin down, if you have developed the strength yet, Try to bring all three parts of the body down to the floor at once. So let's try that together. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, right leg back. Retain the le left leg back. Now try to bring all three parts of your body down as you exhale together. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale. Inverted V. Inhale, stretch forward with the right and look up. Exhale, left. Inhale and gently stretch up. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. Twelve movements. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale and stretch up, two. Exhale and down, three. Inhale, left leg back, four. Retain the breath, five, push up, exhale, six, Ashtanga Namaskar, inhale, seven, exhale, eight, inverted V, inhale, nine, left foot in front and look up, exhale, ten, right foot forward, fold the head in, inhale, eleven, gently stretch up and arch back, exhale, twelve, bring your hands to prayer, Close your eyes, center yourself, feel the breath, see how it's flowing, relax your arms and gently open your eyes, come to the center of your mat. We're going to practice some of the standing poses we've done before, starting with Trikonasan, triangle. Turn your right toe out to the right, check the alignment, heel of the right, centered along the arch of the left foot. Turn the left toes in slightly, center your hips, make sure you're not 
on one leg. Inhale and stretch up. As you exhale, reach sideways. Come into Trikonasana. Make sure your arm is nice and straight. Shoulder and fingertips in line with each other. I'm going to stay there for five deep breaths. And gently come up. Release the arms. We're going to do the revolve triangle, Parivrit Trikonasana. So you're twisted in the triangle. Check your alignment once more. Take a nice long inhalation. As you exhale, turn to the side. You can either bring your hand down to your knee. You can have both hands on the knee or just below it if this feels uncomfortable to you. Or if you feel flexible enough, bring your hand down to your ankle or your calf and stretch the right arm up. So your left arm is reaching towards your right leg. If you're very flexible, you'll be able to bring the palm down on the floor. Look up at your hand, see that it's nice and straight. Make sure both your legs are straight. Holding for five deep breaths. And gently come back up. Untwist yourself. Change sides. Coming to triangle on the left. Inhale deeply. Lift your stomach. Take a nice long exhale. Reach to the side. And come up into Trikonasana. Stretching your right arm up towards the ceiling. Don't collapse into the left arm. Continue to grow nice and tall. Staying there for five deep breaths. Take a nice long inhalation. Come up. Release the arms. We are going to do the revolved Parivritta Trikonasana. Check your alignment. Nice long inhalation. Stretch your right arm towards your left leg. You can either bring it down to the ankle the calf or the floor. You also have the option to have both hands holding onto your leg for support. Make sure both legs are straight. Stretch up towards the ceiling with your left arm. Take five deep breaths. And gently untwist. Come back to the center. Relax. Turn your right foot out to the right again. Take a nice big step out with your left foot. Your legs are about five feet width, five feet apart. We're going to go into warrior two, Veera Bhadrasan two. Nice long inhalation, bend the right knee. Bring the knee and ankle in one line. If your knee is overshooting, then you need to step your leg out a little more. And if your knee doesn't quite reach your ankle, then you need to take a step in. So nice long leg on the left side. Right angle with the right foot. Lift up the stomach. Lift up the heart, engage the thighs, look towards your right hand, stay there for five deep breaths. And going into extended side ankle, Parshva Konasana, bring your elbow down to your knee and stretch up with your left arm, bring it towards your ear. You can look in front or you can look up at the ceiling. Now you can continue to have your elbow here, try not to crash into the elbow. Continue to stretch or if you're feeling nice and strong, bring the knee and the ankle in one line and bring the right hand down to the floor. Hold for five deep breaths. Make sure your left leg is straight and you're pressing down into the outer edge of the left foot. Gently release the pose, straighten up the leg, change sides. Veera Bhadrasan 2, Warrior 2 on the other side. Inhale and bend the knee. Check whether your knee and your ankle are in one line. Check whether you're lifting. Nice, strong stomach. Try not to lean forward. Try to have your upper body in line with your hips. Look towards your left. Press down into the outer edge of the right foot. Make sure your knee and your ankle are in a nice right angle. Hold for five deep breaths. And gently come down. Elbow resting on the knee. Stretch your right arm up. Make sure your knee and your ankle are in one nice straight line. You can continue to stay here or you can bring your hand down to the floor. In line with your ankle. Look up towards the ceiling or look straight ahead. Whatever feels good to your neck. Holding there for five deep breaths. Gently release the pose, straighten out the leg, relax the arms. Make sure both your feet are facing the front. 
our last standing pose. Press the Ritta Pada Uttanasana, wide legged forward bend. You have both toes, feet in one line with each other. Make sure the toes are slightly turned in, straighten out the legs, lift the heart and the stomach, don't arch the back, bring your hands to your hips. Take a nice long inhalation, look up as you exhale, reach forward, nice straight legs, straight back and bring your hands down to the floor if your back allows you. If you find that you are very high up still, maybe you want to bend your knees, have the knees and the toes in line with each other, straighten out the back. That's one option. The other one is to have the legs nice and straight. And if your hamstrings and your lower back allow you, walk the hands back. Bring the fingers and toes in one line with each other. And see if you'd like to release your head down towards the floor. Holding there for five deep breaths. Nice straight legs. Tailbone coming up towards the ceiling. If you're very flexible, you may be able to place the crown of your head down on the floor. And gently come back up. Bring your hands to your hips. Stand up again. We try one more variation of this. You can choose to do the same pose again. Or interlock your hands behind your back. See if you can bring the palms together. So you might want to bring the palms together or have them apart. Whatever feels good to you. Take a nice long inhalation. Strong legs, straight legs. As you exhale, bend forward and stretch the arms ahead of you. Holding for five deep breaths. And gently come out of the pose. Release the arms. Walk the legs in. Shake them out if you need to. Measure out your feet. And bring them hip width apart. Bring your hands behind you. The thumbs moving in towards your back. And gently arch back. Maybe you want to go a little lower. If your back allows you or stay a little higher, if your back feels stiff, hold and take three deep breaths. And gently come back up. Remember to bend your neck only as much as your body allows you. Maybe you just want to look there and not all the way down. So we're coming down to the floor now. Sitting in child's pose, releasing the lower back. Taking three deep breaths there. And gently sit up, going into the plank, bring your hands shoulder width apart, stretch your right leg back, then your left, hold for a good 20 seconds. Make sure your shoulder blades are nice and broad, you're pressing away from the floor, hands and shoulders in line with each other, fingers spread nice and wide like a star, heels pressing back against an imaginary wall. Hips not sinking, stomach gently pulled into the spine, staying there for 10 more seconds. And gently bring the knees down, sit back, open the knees to the width of your mat, big toes touching and stretch forward again. Either bring the chin or the forehead down to the floor, whatever feels good to you. Staying there for three deep breaths. Gently sit up. Sit to the left. Straighten out your right leg. Bring the left foot close to your right leg. So we are going into Janu Shirshasan. Head to knee pose. Take a nice long inhalation. As you exhale, reach forward. You also have the option to do this pose with a belt. If you feel the back of your leg and your lower back are not feeling flexible enough, you can hold on to a belt and just straighten out the back. Hold wherever you feel comfortable. Take a nice long inhalation. As you exhale, think of growing long with the head. Drawing the crown of the head towards the foot. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the elbows. If you feel flexible, Rest the chest and the head down on the leg. 
otherwise stay higher whatever feels good to you taking five long breaths here remember to keep stretching out the back of the knee the back is nice and straight the calf muscle the back of the knee the hamstring all of that stretching nice and long extending the leg by pressing the heel gently forward drawing the toes in towards you and gently come back up release the arms change sides bend the right foot in towards your left thigh remember to have both hips facing the front if you like slide that right foot further down the leg so that you can accommodate and keep your hips open take a nice long inhalation as you exhale reach forward again maybe you can hold on to the toe maybe you can just reach the ankle or the calf or maybe you feel your leg is very far away from you and then you might need a belt to stretch continue to take a nice long inhalation look up towards the ceiling as you exhale reach forward think of going forward rather than down don't hunch the back try and keep the back of the leg in the back as straight as you can bending forward from the hips relaxing the shoulders relaxing your lower back relaxing your elbows as you stretch forward staying there for five deep breaths as you breathe deeply try and relax your mind and your legs and your shoulders the more you relax in the forward bend or in any stretch the easier it is to stretch and gently come back up bring the arms down let's try stretching both legs together paschimottanasana inhale and bring both arms up exhale and reach forward again hold where you feel comfortable or use a belt if you feel very tight in the lower back maybe you'd want to put a cushion or a yoga block under your hips take a nice long inhalation as you exhale fold forward we're going to stay here for about 20 seconds holding a little longer Make sure the backs of your legs are straight, the backs of the knees, the calves, the heels, the hamstring muscle, all stretching out as much as you can, drawing the toes in towards you, stretching the heels away from you. Take another nice long inhalation. Relax the shoulders as you exhale. Try to grow longer. Holding there for 10 more seconds. and take a nice deep breath in stretch your arms up and bring them behind you we're going to do purvottanasan the opposite the inclined plane what we just did you have the option to have your knees bent as you come up in purvottanasan you also have the option of turning your arms the other way fingers are facing behind you you have the option to bring the fingers facing towards you whatever feels good to your body So I'm practicing with my legs straight. You can practice with your legs bent, or you can turn your arms the other way. We're going to hold there for a good 10 seconds. Take a nice long inhalation. Raise the hips. Nice strong back. Strong hips. Strong buttocks and legs. Hold. Try and bring your toes down towards the floor. 10, 9, 8, 7. Four, three, two, and one. Gently bring the hips down. Fold the legs and fold forward. Come to a crocodile pose on the floor. Bring the two toes, the big toes together. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn your cheek to one side. Rest for a moment. Switch off all the muscles. Take three deep breaths here. Every time you inhale, feel your abdomen gently pressing against the floor. Exhale completely every time you exhale, letting all the breath out of your lungs. Remember to breathe through the nostrils, not through the mouth. Gently draw the feet together and come up onto your elbows, having your elbows and your shoulders in line with each other. Your elbows are fairly close to your body, close to your ribs. going into a small baby cobra adjust your lower back see that you're not hurting it see that it's not straining if you feel there is a lot of strain in your lower back maybe you want to practice this pose with your legs hip width apart see how you feel there either look up towards the ceiling or look straight ahead of you whatever feels good to you if you feel comfortable with the feet together hold there for a good 10 seconds
gently release the pose. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn your cheek to the other side. And bring your forehead down to the mat. Draw the feet close to you. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Fingertips just touching the shoulder blades. You can also have your hands a little outside the shoulders. See where you feel comfortable. We're going up into a cobra with bent elbows. Nice long in breath. Draw the heels together and stretch up wherever your body allows you. Holding for 10 seconds only. Pose, rest your forehead on the mat again. Separate your feet, bring them to the width of your hips, hip width apart. You can adjust your hands, either have them directly under your shoulders or have them closer towards your waist. We're going to straighten out the arms as we come up in the cobra now. Take a nice long inhalation, come up as high as you can. You also have the option to keep the elbows slightly bent. Relax the shoulders, you shouldn't have your shoulders up towards your ears. Pressing the shoulders down. You can look straight ahead or you can look up. Whatever feels good to your neck. Holding for 10 seconds. Gently release the pose. Rest your forehead on the mat for a bit. We're going to do the bow, Dhanurasan. So we've just completed three variations of the Cobra, Bhujangasan. It's a back bend. We're going to do one more back bend, Dhanurasan, the bow. Bring your forehead down onto the mat. Hold on to your ankles by bending your knees. Take a nice long inhalation. Bring the arms, the legs, everything up as high as you can. Holding there for a good 15 seconds if you can. If you get very tired, you can release the pose earlier. Find a place on your stomach where you're not rocking forward and back. You're nice and stable. Hold. Gently release the pose. Rest for a moment. When you feel your breathing is back to normal, draw the feet together. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and push back into child's pose. Take three deep breaths here. Relax your shoulders. Release the lower back fully. If you're not able to sit back on your heels, it's all right. If you're not able to touch the floor with the forehead, make a fist and relax there. Take a nice long inhalation, gently sit up. We're going to do the half spinal twist, Ardha Matsyendrasan, easy version. So you straighten out your left leg, cross the right leg over, bring your right hand behind you, take a nice long inhalation, cross that left arm in front of your knee, see if you can hold on to your ankle, if not, gently press the elbow against your thigh and look over your right shoulder. If you feel very flexible, perhaps you might want to bind by passing your left arm under your right leg and holding on from behind. Holding the pose for a good 15 seconds. Gently release the pose, uncurl yourself, change sides, straighten up the right leg, cross the left leg over, make sure your leg is nice and straight, that right leg, bring your left arm behind, nice long inhalation, straighten up the right arm, either hold on to the ankle or press gently against the thigh with your elbow and look over your left shoulder. Trying to sit up straight, not leaning too much on the back arm or bind. Curl the arm through and hold on with the other arm. 
staying for a good 15 seconds. gently release the pose hug both your knees into your chest straighten up the spine rest for a moment if you like one last pose before we lie down on the floor so we're going to practice the pigeon you're going to fold your right leg and bring the heel close to your left hip once you do that, stretch your left leg behind you and see if you can equalize both your hips. If your hips are nice and open, you'll be able to sit back on the right hip. If not, you might feel your right hip is off the floor. In order to support that, have a yoga block or a cushion or a folded blanket underneath your right hip. See how much you can stretch the left leg back depending on the openness of the hip and the psoas muscle which is on the side of your body. Maybe you'll be able to turn this leg all the way onto the thigh or maybe you'll be a little higher up. Have a look at your foot, try not to sickle the foot, try and stretch the foot out behind you. Take a nice long inhalation, open up the back and the shoulders. As you exhale, see if you'd like to fold forward, come down on your elbows, relax the shoulders and if you feel comfortable, stretch further forward. See if you can rest your forehead down on the mat. The hamstring and the outer hip muscle in your right leg is really getting a good stretch at this point. Make sure both your hips are level with each other, staying there for a good 10 seconds. Draw that back leg in, fold the left leg in so the heel is close your right hip this time and slide the right leg back you might feel like your left hip wants to come off the floor if you do have a cushion or a folded blanket ready near you to support your hip if you feel flexible and open in this hip stretch the right leg back sit back on this left hip take a nice long inhalation as you exhale fold forward or stretch forward and bring your forehead down to the mat Staying here for nice 10 long seconds, deep breaths. Feel that left hip stretching out. Maybe you'll feel relaxed or you'll feel a little sweet pain there. You shouldn't feel uncomfortable here. You should just feel like you're getting a nice stretch. This is a wonderful pose for the lower back and the hips. Gently come up, stretching out the piriformis muscle inside your hip. That is one muscle that can cause pain along your leg, even sciatic pain. It's a wonderful pose to keep your hips and your lower back really relaxed. Kapotasan or the pigeon. So we come to the end of our class. We're going to lie down on our backs. We're going to work the stomach. Support your lower back with your hands by placing them palms facing down underneath your hips. Make sure your lower back is flat on the floor. You can choose to do these leg raises with your legs straight or with the legs bent. Whatever feels good to your lower back. We're going to do 10 of them. Every time you inhale, bring the legs up. As you exhale, lower the legs using the strength in your stomach and of course your legs just a few inches off the mat. So coming up, one, inhale, exhale and lower the legs, two, exhale down, three, inhale, exhale down, inhale, four, exhale and down, inhale, five, exhale and down, inhale, six, exhale and down, inhale, seven, Exhale down, inhale 8, exhale down, inhale 9, 
exhale it down last one and hold it there you can either have the leg straight or bent whatever feels good to you 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 make sure you're breathing 2 and 1 slowly lower the legs and hug the knees into the chest staying there for a few moments you can also choose to massage your lower back by gently rocking from side to side or making small circles with your knees maybe four or five times one way and four or five times the other way let go of the legs ready to rest now in our final corpse pose the Shavasana use your hands and gently lengthen your neck make it nice and long drawing the chin in towards the chest take a nice long breath relax the shoulders roll them out separate the shoulder blades from each other move the arms away from your body maybe six to eight inches palms turned up take another deep breath in let the abdomen and the chest expand exhale fully chest relaxes abdomen relaxes raise your hips off the floor rest your lower back completely on the floor make sure your feet are three to four feet apart toes falling to either sides hips completely relaxed and getting ready to rest taking nice long inhalations long exhalations relaxing your jaw your eyes all the muscles in your face your neck shoulders and arms chest back and hips thighs knees calves and chins all the way down through your ankles the heels the soles of the feet and the toes So that was our last episode and hopefully practicing with me has helped you build flexibility and strength in your body and your mind. Do leave me some feedback right here whether you're able to practice regularly along with the videos or if you're facing any hurdles while practicing with me. Don't forget to connect to yourself, keep practicing regularly, remember to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next season.